Hi everyone, here is Akta and welcome back on my YouTube channel and today I want to show you the kind of team I'm currently building in order to try to farm in automatic the stage 29 of the Tower of Mark Blue a blue one so yeah this is the team i am using i'm planning to switch the farm of marks at the moment i'm farming only a red mark and now i have almost 20 everywhere in the talents red mark ones so i want to switch to another mark and this is the uh, easiest mark in my opinion uh, with the heroes i have currently on my account so enough talk before we jump into the video as always if you enjoy it please like comment and subscribe, thank you so much. So this is the team I am using here. As you can see, I replaced my uh, Nazil by uh, Dustin here because he can apply a nicer shield on my heroes. He can lower the effect hit. He can uh, lower the attack of the boss. And this is really important. And also he can apply a heal on one ally. So this is interesting. So I'm using two HP burnings here, one epic unit and one legendary one. Uh, I will increase his exclusive at uh, Christmas when we will get uh, the legendary eye for free in the uh, dungeons we will have on the event uh, so he will uh, be even better normally and finally i'm using tuck i have been lucky to get the th second exclusive on the previous summoning session so he is more tanky than before and i am using guhana in order to uh, heal my units to lower the speed of the boss etc so let's run the fight in auto and see how it works you will see that the second wave is really really hard uh, because enemies are from the red mark and they counter my units uh, here so uh, they are doing a lot of uh, they are dealing a lot of damage to my units and this can be really hard so let's have a look first of all they have all an hp burning so i'm trying to freeze them with my queenland and then i'm trying to freeze them on the second turn with my tuck so i don't take too much damage so now they have a lot of hp burnings but they are gonna shield themselves if if i can't kill them fast but now it should be okay they have a lot of hp burnings on them so this is the boss fight now i have to uh, lower his attack and uh, he and uh, increase my defense on my heroes uh, with the shield so I can survive so maybe it should be better if I could uh, inflict the slow on the boss but I don't have that much effect hit on my units on my guhana so it's a bit hard to apply the speed down reduction on the boss so now only the boss remaining and I have to shield myself to lower the attack of the boss so as you can see uh, now he has the attack down thanks to Dustin and I already lost my love. Uh, this is so hard. This is so hard. And now he's focusing my uh, other DPS unit. If I lose Quinlan, I'm gonna lose the battle. I'm gonna lose the battle. So 3 HP burnings on the boss. He has the attack down. I don't have shield anymore. And okay, he doesn't target my Quinlan every time. So maybe I can beat him okay I'm still alive 20% more to do 18% 17 16 and I lost my DPS so the run failed so let's try one more time mm -hmm. so the first wave is not really hard The second wave can be annoying. Sometimes I fail during the second wave because of the mark advantage. I take too much damage on my units if they are not frozen. Okay, so one unit <laughs> wasn't frozen, so I lost a bit of HP, but it was okay. Now enemies have a lot of HP burnings on them, so normally I should be able to beat them. But look at the damage. But it's okay. Bus wave, will I survive this time? I'm taking a lot of damage. 
I hope I will kill Yoko fast, so it's okay, Yoko is dead. Now only the boss remains. 3 HP burnings, attack down on him. Speed down, this is great, speed down is great. While it procs, normally it should be fine now. Attack down, speed down, HP burnings. 4 HP burnings, attack down one more time, this is great. I blocked the ultimate of Dustin, so he always use his basic attack in order to lower the attack of the boss more often, it's really important, and to apply the shield. So shield on my units, okay, 3 HP burnings on the boss, 35% HP remaining, 27% to HP burnings, normally it should be nice, and speed down reduction on the boss, and I have a lot of shields on my units, Hmm, this time I'm gonna win. Normally I'm gonna win. 5 HP burning, so this is it. Even if one of my units die, normally I should be able to beat the boss. Yeah, this is it. This is nice. So I don't have a 100% uh, chance to beat the boss at the moment, but it's... It's beginning, it's be becoming great, it's becoming great. So if I show you my talents, as you can see here, and now I'm focusing the last one to uh, 20, and when I will have 20 here, I'm gonna switch to blue mark and try to do the same. So as you can see, I have bad talents here, so I lack a lot of uh, stats on my heroes. Uh, if I can increase it a bit, it will be better to farm it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if it's the case, as usual, please like, comment and subscribe and then see you in the next one, bye bye! Infinite Magic Raid, play to slay!